to make focaccia. Yes, this focaccia bread recipe is so super simple, but what do I have focaccia with? Well, on a Saturday night, secret here, I do love it slightly warmed and then dipped into balsamic vinegar and olive oil that's been sort of mixed together. You dip it in and oh, it's so good. But tonight I'm going to be having it with a homemade vegetable and herby Italian soup. It is so good. So, if you've never made bread before and you've never made focaccia, please give this super simple recipe a go. I know that a few people feel a bit challenged when it comes to making bread, but I'm sure that once you've had a go at making this focaccia, then you're gonna get some confidence to go on and make other breads. And I'm sure many of your family are gonna be asking for you to make this beautiful focaccia for them too. I'm using a stand mixer, but you can do it by hand. Use 250 grams of strong plain white flour. Then add in five grams of salt to one side and five grams of yeast to the other, keeping them apart as salt kills yeast. Add in approximately 20 mils of olive oil. Start your mixer, or by hand, gradually add in 180 ml of water. Mix for 10 minutes, either by mixer or hand. I use setting 2 on my KitchenAid here. This is a wetter dough, so don't be tempted to add more flour if it is sticky. Use olive oil on your hands and surfaces, if kneading by hand. Whilst it is mixing, I get a bowl and add a little olive oil. Once your dough has been kneaded, place it in the bowl and cover with cling film and a tea towel. Place somewhere warm but not too hot. Let it prove for between one to two hours until it has doubled in size. Be patient with this bit. Once risen, cover a surface with a little more olive oil. Turn your dough out and slightly press and stretch out. I'm using a tin which I've lined and oiled, but you could just shape onto a lined and oiled baking tray. I sprinkle a tablespoon of semolina over the top to give it more crunch. Place your tin and baking tray into a large airy bag and proof for a further hour until it has risen again. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees centigrade fan. Before going into the oven, give it some dimples. And drizzle over some olive oil. Today I am using just oregano sprinkled over the top, but check out the full recipe for some great ideas. Then bake for 15 minutes. You will know when it is cooked as it will sound hollow underneath when tapped. Make sure you let it cool on a wire rack so it does not go soggy. Add more olive oil and enjoy. The full recipe that you can print out and get more great ideas from is on the website and you can watch the video again. There is also the nutritional fact sheets too. All you have to do is go to my website cookingwithemily.co.uk